Hey guys, Ryan here. So today I'm going to talk about the new Harry Potter pops that were revealed yesterday at London Toy Fair. These pops look awesome, and we're going to discuss each and every one of them. There are a total of 11, um, and then there's some pocket pops as well, but as we all know, this is Harry Potter. It's probably Funko's, or one of their biggest licenses, or in their best sellers. So we know that there's going to be a lot more past this. There's already a lot more that are rumored, pretty much confirmed, because they were found in-store systems. They just haven't been officially announced yet, so... But yeah, so now we're, let's get right into them because there's 11 and we have to talk about all of them. So first up, there's, which one should I start with? Because there's, I'm going to start with Harry, obviously, but there's a few. So we'll start off with the exclusives first so we can get those out of the way. But So first up, we have Harry Potter with the invisibility cloak, or he halfway has it on. It's a Funko Shop exclusive. Now, honest, I know some people are going to be like, oh my god, there was no point in making those two. To me, I don't care. I love them. I, I want as many as I can get. So the more they make, the better. I'm very glad that, they, that we're, I'm finally going to be able to actually try to go after another Funko Shop exclusive. It's probably been a year and a half to two years since I've actually tried to get one last. Probably two summers ago since I really tried to get one. Except for the gym one. But other than that, it's been a while. So uh, From the office, by the way. But anyways, so this Harry, I'm kind of nervous because um, I don't... We're not allowed to be on our phones at school, and they were released at 2 in the afternoon, and I get out at 2.30, so hopefully it won't sell out in half an hour, and I'll be good, but if it does, then I'm going to be really screwed, and I'm going to go to eBay and pay a bunch of money, but um, hopefully it'll work out in my favor, and yeah, so that one's really cool because he's like halfway on. I really wish that they would make one. I'm sure they might, but where his the bottom of his bottom half of his body is um, invisible, translucent, see-through. Um, cause it makes a lot of sense. Like the one scene where he first gets it and he's like, my body's gone, like my body's gone. And then it's just his head. That'd be a really cool pop to see. I hope they make that, but who knows? So, and then the other exclusive is a Barnes and Noble exclusive and it's Harry Potter from Deathly Hallows part two. So we finally got some Deathly Hallows ones, which is awesome. I can't wait for them to actually come up with a real line. I believe it's going to be this year because they're this, this pop is from that movie. So why would they just make one and then not make any more for a few years. I think they're for finally going to get those. So I'm really, really excited about that. But anyway, so this one, he's... In, in this one, he's holding... I don't know whose wand he's actually holding because he... His wand was destroyed in the movie before. So I believe he's holding Draco's wand and the Elder Wand. Um, or they could have him hold Bellatrix's because he did take it in the previous movie, but he didn't have it in this movie. So, But I believe it would be Draco's and Voldemort's wand, or the Elder one, because it's like the final one where he... Yeah, it has to be, because he like catches Voldemort's wand af they, as they kill Nagini. So, yeah, I believe that's right. He's going to have Draco Malfoy and Voldemort's wand. But anyways, so that one's awesome. That's probably my favorite Harry that they've made so far, because... I'm, that's my favorite movie. I believe that those are like the f best designs. Um, I'm gonna have to make a whole separate video, but just about the ones I want from that movie because there's so freaking many. But and no, that'd be good because if Funko saw it, then they would probably make it. But anyway, so yeah. Next up, we have another Harry, and it's him with the invisibility cloak up like this, or I don't know if it's like around him or if it's up like that. You guys will have to be able to see it on screen and stuff because I put the image up. But um, this one. It's basically, like, it's not very different than the Funko Shop exclusive, but it's cool. So, and obviously I'm going to get it. Uh, it's a common, it's not exclusive to anything or anywhere. So, the only two exclusives were the ones I just talked about. But, so this one, it's cool. It's just, a, it's basically just another Harry. So, but next up, we all, we have Hermione with her wand and, like, the feather. And, like, it's from the first movie when she's, like, it's Leviosa, not Leviosa or whatever. And she's, like, it's the swish and flick or whatever. And then it. Um, levitates up um so that one it's basically it's not anything special but it's cool because it's definitely gonna be something new because we're not we're actually gonna see something floating but it's connected to her at the same time so that one's gonna be kind of cool and different um and then next we have ron with the bucket puking slugs so that one is i really wish that they had like a slug coming out of his mouth that would have been a really cool detail but there is a slug hanging out of the bucket so this is when um, malfoy calls hermione a mud blood which means like basically making fun of her for having muggle parents um and those are really frowned upon um, upon the pure blood families like malfoy and his family but anyway so and then ron tries to say like eat slugs or whatever and then in his one is broken at the time and it backfires and he shoots back and he starts puking up slugs everywhere um and yeah so basically that's really that one but it's really cool it's new it's new and his face is like really green and different because he's sick but 
And then next up we have um, Neville with the with the Monster Book of Monsters. So if you guys remember this part, is from the Prisoner of Azkaban. It like tries to eat him when they're at Hagrid's first lesson with Buckbeak. By the way, when are we gonna get a Buckbeak like ride with Harry? I really really want that. Like when he's riding over the lake, um, and he, I, I just thought that'd be so cool. But anyways, back to our actual conversation. So this one, it's it's pretty different. Um, we only have one Neville Pop right now. Um, it's cool. It's not too different from the original, but it's different enough um, to have another one, I, th I believe at least, because we haven't gotten a pop with a character holding the book yet, and it's really cool to get that one because it's like a, it's like a, it's a one of those things in Harry Potter that's iconic, like the sword or I don't know. It's just and it's cool to see that in, in on a pop. But anyway, so now let's talk about the new Malfoy pop where he has the spider from the lesson with Mad Eye Moody when he it's like his first lesson at Hogwarts and he's like showing them all the unforgivable curses and he is parading him around the classroom with his wand and he like puts it on Draco's face, um Crab's face, Ron's face, all these people's faces and it's really funny it's a funny scene and then he ends up killing it because it's not actually Mad Eye Moody. Um it's Barty Crouch Jr. But anyway, so this is a cool one because it's like on his face and the detail on it looks pretty good. Um, and as you guys can honestly tell though with these, it looks like um, they're very cartoonish because these aren't the official glams. You'll see later on though, some of them are very, very, you can, like it's almost like an actual picture of the pop. It's for the 10 inch ones. Those are definitely probably about to come out very soon. So I'm really excited for those. But anyway, so next up, let's talk about Dumbledore with Baby Harry. This is my favorite one out of the commons. This one is awesome. Uh, so this is from the very, very first scene of the of all the movies. Um, Dumbledore has Hagrid bring Harry, after his parents were murdered, to um, the Dursley's house, which are his aunt, uncle, and cousin, and it's the only family he has. So that's where they leave him. They leave him on the doorstep, and Dumbledore carries him over. So that's basically what that scene's from, where that pop is from. Um, so definitely my favorite, though. I love that one. It's a really cool one. Um, and then we have two more. The two ten inches and a movie moment. So this movie moment may not be known to everybody because it wasn't officially announced by Funko. It was announced by Funko Europe or something like that. But it was leaked. Or not leaked, but it was posted on other people's sites to where you could see it. It's not You can't pre-order it though, I don't believe. But it's weird how it worked. But it was revealed and it was actually leaked a few, a few months ago or so. Where you could see it said Harry versus Voldemort movie moment. It's from the Goblet of Fire when they're in the cemetery after they killed Cedric Diggory. And they're, like, dueling, and it's really cool. This is exactly what I was talking about, except I was talking about Death Hallows Part 2. So I'm really hoping that they'll still do it, but I feel like they may not because they're making this one. But the one I was talking about from Deathly Hallows is where it's, like, the final, final battle. But this one is when they're in the graveyard. They just killed Cedric, and all the spirits are coming out of the spell. Like, his mom, Cedric, his dad, all of them are coming out, and they're, like, talking to him, and they're helping him escape. Yeah, because it was his first, like encounter with Voldemort like him versus Voldemort because it's been like him versus Quirrell as Voldemort or Voldemort as Tom Riddle um but this was his first actual Voldemort versus Harry so this was a really cool battle because this was their first battle um unless you want to count there when he was a baby but that wasn't a battle that was him murdering his parents anyways so this was really cool because it's really cool how the spells connect in the middle but yeah this one's awesome I'm really hoping they make another one though I hope they make like a Neville killing Nagini Dumbledore versus Voldemort from the Order of the Phoenix, and then the final battle as well. That'd be really cool. Um, so yeah, that I, I'm getting off tra off text because I really want all these pops. But anyways, so then the ten inch ones we have a ten inch Voldemort with Nagini. This one is so cool. They actually made a regular size one of this, um, and it was exclusive to Pop in the Box. It came out. I think it was released. It was announced over like last year around May or June or April or something, and then it came in over the summer. Um, uh, maybe July, August, somewhere around there. Um, but now they're making a 10-inch one. This one looks awesome. As you can tell, though, these images look a lot more real. Not cartoonish at all. Real. So I feel like these pops are going to come out very soon. So I'm really excited about that because I really want these. And I don't know how much longer I can wait. But the next one is Dumbledore with Fox. So this, I'm so excited for this one because Dumbledore is my favorite character in Harry Potter. I love Dumbledore. He, just the complexity of his character and what he does for Harry. And then the detail on this, because it's going to be a 10 inch, I cannot wait to see it in person. Uh, but yeah, so I don't really know what else is coming out this year. There's been a lot more leaks 
Oh wait, there's also Pocket Pops. There's a Luna Lovegood with the with the Spectra Specs. There's a Snape as Bogart, and then there's Hermione with the potions. Those are all Pocket Pops come or not Pocket Pops, key the Pocket Pop keychains. Those ones. But anyway, so there's like a Madam Hooch, a uh, Professor, um, Flitwick, a uh, Professor Sprout, I believe. And then there's like uh, what all other ones? There's a Harry, Ron, and Hermione in their winter outfit and Infidora Tonks. Um. I believe that's it, but there's like a lot more rumored, so I don't know when those will be announced. But Nymphador Tonks is rumored to be for ECCC, E, C C C. Okay, so I said 120Cs. Anyways, so I'm really excited because it looks like we're gonna get a lot more this year, and just with this, these are the leaked ones, and I'm sure there's gonna be a lot more later this year because there's still gonna be some for SECC, NYCC. But anyway, so I'm really excited to see what else comes out of these. I really cannot wait for these to come out. I don't know when. Um, the 10 inch ones I'm assuming are going to be soon because of the, they're not, they don't, they look really like real. They look like they're coming soon. So you don't really know though until you actually, they're in your hands or whatever. But anyways, so let me know down below. Um, what did you guys think of these ones? I'm so excited to get them all. But yeah, so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.